Today, we are building a realistic traditional colonial house in Bloxburg. So as you can see, this is the exterior focusing on today. So we're going to tour and then build. So the exterior value is $50,000. So we made this house very detailed. That's why it's a bit pricey, but I do have a really cheap build coming up very soon. So this is a little too pricey for you. It's okay. You can check out my cheap one, which will be out next. Yeah. So let me go over everything in this build. First off, I love the textures and the colors together. I think they look very like realistic and detailed. So we use some bricks with like a reddish kind of pink tint. I don't know if that's pink actually. That's probably not pink, <laughs> but it kind of like reminds me of a rosy color. So I really like that a lot. And then we made this really cute front door thingy. So this is one of the new doors that we got in the recent update. But if you notice, it's only like a single door. Like it's not a double door or a front door at all. So basically what we did was we made these windows surround it. So it kind of looks more like a front door. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. And then of course I placed some flowers up here. Always have to incorporate flowers flowers in my builds yeah of course i did over here as well but i think they look really cute so yeah we'll go inside if we make an interior so you guys comment and let me know if you want to see that but for now we're gonna focus on this lovely exterior oh yeah we also have a pond i thought that was cool yeah so we used obviously those like reddish bricks then we also used some like grays and then we used some like dark blue i thought these colors look nice together for a spring house and then we also used some dark stone gray for the roof and then we also used some white with concrete so i thought that was cute too we used the white with the concrete for the garage over here so i thought this house was really cute really nice to look at so <laughs> i'm pretty happy with it so my plan for the interior basically i have four bedrooms and three bathrooms all planned out i also have obviously the living room the dining room the kitchen and even a backyard planned so if you guys want to see everything i mentioned all furnished and decorated please comment below and i will make an interior video i will link it in the description so make sure you check back there if you'd like to see that so i also have this extra room right over here and i'm not sure or what to make this so you guys let me know what you think because i don't know what to do over here i kind of forgot to uh include this room in the plan so it's kind of just vacant for now i do have a study room right here planned so like an office kind of study area will be right over here yeah i don't know what else to make this maybe like a garden room because i love gardening as you can probably tell by this yard but if you guys have any ideas please let me know because right now i have no idea what this room is gonna be it's literally empty so yeah that's pretty much what we have planned though for this build yeah i really like it though i love how realistic it feels so i'm pretty happy with it oh and also these windows might look a bit different to you we just custom designed these so we use like the scale tool to shrink these windows down and then we just kind of made a cute little window design i think they're cute and then of course we use the vents again to kind of make like a window thingy at the top of the roof and then we also use like lamps up here but if you notice we use those new roof thingies to make it look like the lamps are kind of hanging down i thought that was a cool look so the game passes we use for this exterior the multiple floors obviously because we have two stories we also use advanced placement to place like these bushes together which i think are so cute we also use that game pass to place some like detail on the roof as you can see and then also to place more of like the flowers close together because we love flowers and additionally we use the scale tool like i said before we use that to shrink down these windows basically and i think they look really nice but that's about it so we only need those three game passes to build this house and we'll only use those three game passes for the interior as well so you won't need any additional game passes whatsoever yeah so i'm really happy with this build i hope you guys are as well so we're gonna start building oh no oh that's pretty bad <laughs> this is what i was afraid of with the new update i was like this is definitely gonna happen <gasps> oh my gosh i can't even afford the fee that is so bad guys this update literally <laughs> has made me go broke that's so embarrassing yeah so we're gonna start building right now and then i'm going to need to make some more money so <laughs> make sure you comment and let me know if you want to see the interior to this lovely house but other than that we're gonna start building it today so get comfy and get a snack and let's start building and watch me go broke again <laughs> so this is the layout so this is the first floor and these yellow lines represent the second floor so we're gonna begin with the first floor we're gonna take the walls obviously we're gonna start seven squares back and we're gonna place three walls to the right i'm gonna color this wall sand red with the brick material i was thinking of coloring it concrete with white but i think i'm gonna do this instead and i think i'm gonna go with oyster for the interior walls we kind of have like a rosy theme going on with this build so copy those walls once they're placed we're gonna place two walls back then we're gonna place three to the right this time these walls are gonna be colored to ghost gray with the horizontal planks material so you can copy that wall place one down and then three to the right hey guys before we continue on i decided i wanted 
to color these two walls sand red with the brick material ignore the next few minutes that it's gray i'm actually changing it to red sorry about that then go down one one to the right now we're gonna switch back to the red walls and we're gonna place one wall down two to the right back up one and then we're gonna go back to the blue gray walls and then go to the right by one and back up by two and then from there you can go to the right by three this time i might color these walls white with concrete because we are going to use a white with concrete wall for the second floor and i kind of feel weird if i only use it once so i think using it like two times at least would be good so i'm probably gonna go back to the gray walls and just finish off the back of the house with those because those are like the main walls so we're gonna go back two four six times to the left by four back up by two to the left by two back up one to the left by two down one to the left by two down two to the left by three back up one to the left by two down one to the left by one down two you can actually go down four times because this is supposed to be a wall for the stairs six eight times there we go so this is what we have so far so we can go to the second floor now we're gonna still stick with the gray walls we'll start on the left side again this time we're gonna start 11 squares back and we're gonna place three to the right now you can go down by two to the right by three down by one to the right by three up by one to the right by one and now we're going to grab the concrete walls from the first floor and we're gonna go down by one to the right by two back up one and then go back to the gray walls go to the right by one back two four six times to the left by one back up by three to the left two four six times down three to the left by three back up one to the left by two down one to left by one and then down four there we go <laughs> okay this is not exhausting i just got home i've been out all day but the blocks per grind does not stop we're gonna fill in these walls the interior walls so make sure they're colored whatever interior wall color you want to go with so this is going to be a bathroom and then this area is going to be another bathroom this is going to be a bedroom and this room right next to it is going to be another bedroom this is actually going to be another bedroom too and so is this room and this is going to be a bathroom kind of connecting these two bedrooms so one two three four four bedrooms one two bathrooms upstairs and the stairs will be over here so this is a hallway so we can go downstairs to the first floor so this is just like the wall for the stairs this is going to be a bathroom on the first floor this is going to be a hallway basically that'll lead you to the bathroom the kitchen and the backyard over here so yeah this is going to be the kitchen and this is gonna be like a pantry area for snacks i thought that'd be cool and different and this over here is going to be your dining room and this is a garage and this is going to be a little like office kind of study area I don't know. And this is the living room and entrance area. And this, I actually forgot about this room. This is something. If anyone has any ideas as to what this room could possibly be, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. So what we have as of now, four bedrooms and two bathrooms in total. So we're gonna place like the roof now. So we're gonna start off with the gable roof on the left side of the house. So turn on manual placement each time we place the roof. Start at this bottom left corner, go to the right by three, back up by four, and then to the left by three. If you'd like to, you could raise it up a bit. It's cheaper. And then we're gonna color the roof dark stone gray with the roof tiles then you just have to match the front color to the wall color obviously and ceiling color i love white with concrete and we're using that for the exterior so i think it matches so you can copy that gable roof we're going to do the same thing kind of on the side so start at this bottom left corner on this red wall go to the right by two back up two and to the left by two and then you could also shrink this a bit so it's not like protruding through the wall too much so place it down and there we go something similar to the garage over here so you could start at the bottom right corner go to left by three all the way back to the end of the wall and then to the right by three so we're also covering like half that pantry area i would recommend increasing its size a bit to save money so you could place it down and now we just have to color this area to the white with concrete okay now we can copy that roof and we're going to turn off the roof this time so you can see a bit better start at this bottom right corner go to the left by three back up by two and to the right by three this is kind of unnecessary but i do think it adds more detail so i would once again like shrink it in a bit and then just increase its size i'd say like almost almost to the top of the second floor wall so something like this would be cool there we go so we'll switch over to the slanted roof now to finish off the first floor so once again manual placement this time we're going to start at this left corner right here at this red wall we're going to place it down and go to the right two four six times then up one to left by three up one and to left by three again you have to do it in this order so that it actually like places properly now you can just increase its size a bit this is kind of for like the front porch area place it down and then we have to color the same as 
all the other roofs. Yeah, so we're gonna copy that slanted roof again. We're gonna place it over here. So it might be easier to turn off your roof. Start at this bottom left corner, get to the right by one, then up two and to left by one. Now I guess you could raise it up a bit just to match this roof. Place it down like that. Now you're gonna do the same thing right over here. So start at the bottom left corner, go to the right by one, back up two and to left by one like that. So we finished the first floor roof. We can take that gable roof again and go to the second floor. We will be using that a lot. So let's start on this red wall. Yeah, I know this wall just changed red magically. I didn't mean to color it gray. I wanted to color it red. I just forgot. So anyway, we're gonna start at this bottom left corner, go to the right by three, then go all the way back to the end of the wall and then to left by three like this. So this roof is gonna be shorter than this roof. You're gonna see what I mean. So if you'd like to, you could increase it like once. That's it. And then place it down. All right, now we're going to place it on this gray wall. So start at the bottom left corner and then you're gonna turn off the roof so you can see. You're gonna go to the right all the way. So six times and then back two, four, six times and then to the left by six like this. So we kind of want it to basically be bigger than that red roof and we're gonna increase it like that. It's a little expensive, but I think it does look pretty cool. So we're gonna change this wall color back to the ghost gray with the horizontal planks. There we go. Oh guys, I kind of like this build. <laughs> so we're gonna copy that roof, the gray one, and we're gonna start at the left side now. So we're gonna start at the bottom left corner and we're gonna go to the right five times and then back by four and then to left by five like this. So we kind of want it to go through this roof. I just think it looks cool that way. So if you'd like to, you could increase its size. Actually, it is more expensive. I would not recommend doing that, but I suppose I'm stuck doing it. We're gonna finish off this area. Basically, you could just use the gable roof, okay? It's really like nothing, but if you wanna save money, you could always use a flat roof. I'm just gonna do it. It's fine. All right, so let's go to the right side of the house. We're gonna grab the concrete wall. So we're gonna start at the bottom left corner of the white wall, go to the right by two, and then go all the way back to the end of the house and then to left by two, like this. So you're just going to increase it. It just looks cool that way. So there you go. Now we're going to basically use the gable roof again. Start this bottom right corner, turn off the roof, go to the left five times, back up by three to the right by five. So you could just place it down like that. And then if you wanna finish off this area with the gable roof, you totally can, or you could use a flat roof. I'll just do this though, it's fine. Kinda looks funny, but <laughs> it's all right. No one's gonna look at that. Yeah, so this is what the house looks like now <laughs> with the roof. I'm kinda liking this house more. All right, <laughs> before we do anything else, let's grab the pillars because I just think that's gonna make placing the windows easier. So we're gonna start off with the rustic columns. We're gonna place a few of those basically beneath this slanted roof. So we're gonna place one in this far left corner Corner. Then you're going to place one right here in front of this red wall and then another one right next to this corner So you can move them over a bit like that pretty nice now for the actual pillars We're using the plain pillars. I use these a lot. They're great though So we're gonna place these in like all of the gray walls So they're gonna be colored white with this with plastic I'm probably not gonna place them in all of the red walls like I think this wall and this wall I think I'm going to leave them. Oh, whoa jump scare. Okay <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna place these here because I just think they look cooler like alone if that makes sense So I will place them in like this red wall though because it's like a main wall and I will place them over here and here but I don't think I'm gonna place them right here or on the concrete walls I think I'm gonna leave the concrete wall alone too I will place them for the garage though and if you need help placing them up here what you can do is just take the floor and just place that down and then just place the pillars in the corners like this I'll place the rest of the pillars if we make the interior but for now I'll just stick with like the front exterior yeah because I'm really excited to finish this house so actually you know what I think I might place them here sorry can you tell how indecisive I am I think you kind of can. Do these pillars kind of look cool like this? They actually might look terrible. I'm sorry. I think they're kind of cool. It could also be like the sleep deprivation talking, so I don't really know. <laughs> we'll leave it for now. Okay, now let's place the windows because this is like so fun. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna be doing something really cool with the windows. So we're gonna be using the factory windows. We're gonna color them all white with the seashell hue. I like to use that. You can use whatever hue you'd like though. So now I'm gonna use a scale tool. I'm going to shrink this down basically like once on each side so it looks a bit smaller. So now I'm going to copy one and place two more, one on each side like that. I'm gonna have to move these down just a bit because we're gonna place another window with these. I don't know how I thought of this, but I thought this was really cool. I wanted to use a large round half factory window. I said that completely backwards, but you know what I mean? And I'm gonna place it above these, but first I have to move them down a bit more and place it basically above them. Now I'm going to also shrink down this window so it matches those and then recolor it. And that looks cool, right? I think it does, hopefully. So we're gonna be using these windows throughout this entire build. So we're gonna take these factory windows now. We're gonna place three on this wall and then we're gonna place one on this wall, one on this wall, and then one on this wall. <laughs> but this wall is gonna have a curtain. We're gonna use the plain shutters and we're going to be coloring it smoky gray with smoky gray. <laughs> so we can also grab that window with the curtain and place it on this concrete wall. Upstairs we go. We're gonna grab a new window, this large factory window, which will be placed on this main 
blue wall gray wall i don't know if that's blue anyway we're going to grab some shutters for it and i was thinking of using this design for this wall um we're gonna grab these windows first the factory windows basically what we did down here we're doing up here so we're gonna have to like move them down a bit again and then grab that rounded window and place that right here so those are the windows that i was thinking of using <laughs> i hope they look good i think they do maybe so let's grab the doors now so i wanted to use that new door we got this half sphere door for the front door isn't this so cool and like realistic looking i think that definitely works for like a realistic looking house we don't even need a color because it's like colored perfectly so i was thinking of using like these thin clear windows with it to kind of make it look more like a front door so we are going to use a scale tool again just to make this kind of like the same length as the door and then make sure it's recolored to the same hue as all those doors so you can copy that and place one on this side as well now we're going to grab one more window we're going to use this thin horizontal window place that above the door and then use a scale tool again to just resize it color the same and there we go later on we'll add more to this so we can kind of get rid of those gaps yeah so that's what we have for now we'll fix it up i promise but let's grab the garage door before we do anything else i'm thinking the traditional carriage garage which is like really expensive unfortunately so we're probably going to start off coloring it white and then maybe we could use the smoky gray and then we could go with like white again and then like a mid gray hue so this is what the house is looking like definitely a lot better i'd say so we're gonna grab some wall trim to make it even more detailed we're gonna start off with the flat crown molding so this is gonna be placed on each blue wall for sure and we're also gonna place it on some of these red walls as well we're probably gonna skip this concrete wall though but we will place it on this concrete wall you could even do the sides of the house too i'm probably gonna save my money because i'm literally about to go broke i would like to place it on this red wall too as well as this one but like you see here it doesn't work but don't worry i have a plan we'll custom make some wall trim but we can place it on this red wall let's go to structural we're gonna grab the standard square beam okay and then we're gonna click on standard placement so it turns to custom placement we are going to basically place it at the top of the roof like this and then we're gonna color it all white so it kind of looks like a wall trim then you can add like another layer to it like beneath it like this so that it looks like it's similar to this wall trim do you see what i mean oh that actually kind of worked i did not expect that to work so well so we're gonna do the same thing on this red wall try to be patient with it if it like gives you some difficulties because it is kind of annoying to place and if you want to skip it you totally can because you really don't need the wall trim like the house is gonna look nice without it yeah so that's kind of what it looks like you can't really tell it's different unless you're like staring at this house intently so one more wall trim we're gonna do for the bottom we're gonna be using the tall flat baseboard this will be placed on each bottom floor wall we obviously don't need it on the second floor so just on the first floor and that's it i think it looks nice but unfortunately i have 50 dollars left so i'm gonna have to work before we can finish this house wish they hadn't nerfed the pizza planet i'm back from working so we have some money where was i i don't even know what i was doing <laughs> okay i think what we're gonna do is add some decoration to the roof so we're gonna go to decorations and we're gonna type in vents we're gonna grab the basic wall vent and we're gonna go upstairs to this blue wall we are gonna place one down and color it white then we're gonna place two more beneath it like this basically so that they look like they're windows oh they're not <laughs> they're vents but like we can use our imagination so we're gonna go back to structural we are going to use the wooden planks the vertical plank we're gonna click on custom placement we're basically gonna make them look like they're shutters so they'll be colored the same as those shutters so do the same thing for this side like that pretty nice i did this in my last build i think it's cool we might add more later but for now i think we'll leave it the way it is i do want to grab some more wall stuff for the roof these cool modern roof supports and i'm going to place them at the top right here of most of my roofs like all the red roofs are going to have these because i'm going to do some cool like roof design we might also add some lights to it like these classic outdoor wall lamps are really cool so you can place them like beneath these and then i'm probably going to use like a yellow lighting i love yellow lights it kind of looks like these things are holding up the lights i think that's kind of cool i don't know maybe that's weird <laughs> but we'll leave it for now so you could even place one over here for this pillar yeah so the house itself is pretty much finished i might want to go back to add some more details to the roof in a bit but let's take a break from the house and let's kind of landscape a bit because this is like my favorite part to do so first we're gonna have to make like a walkway to the front door i'm just gonna use basic concrete because i need to save some money i don't really want to go broke again so i'm gonna do the same thing for the driveway over here and then i'm also gonna extend it out over here for like that little patio thing i was talking about and then we could even give it like a fence we could just use like the basic deck railing very cheap which is what i need and then you could always take the plain short fence and outline the walkway and the driveway okay so now i'm going to take the floor again and i'm basically just going to go over the grass with it because i'm going to change it to the mode grass lines and then i'm just going to use the regular like grass color we want some more detail in this build i think i'm going to quickly grab like a pool though and make like a little pond over here i think this is going to be cute and then i go to garden and then i grab like these stepping stones and i'll kind of like outline this pond so it looks a bit more 
natural because like a square pond i don't know just does not seem very natural to me so okay this actually isn't gonna be like a circular pond though this is probably gonna be like an oval maybe we'll add more water right here i hope that's like shaped normally i'm sure it's fine <laughs> we'll worry about it later let's just place the grass again you know we need to finish this off because why not why not add a pond ponds are like cool we'll place like grass around it and we'll place grass you know around the entire yard itself because of course grass is like everywhere that makes so much sense and it's very cheap i need that desperately right now i cannot go broke again although it's probably gonna happen so and then these natural plants they look very nice but they're very cheap they're perfect to use before we place any more plants we should also grab a fence for the house itself so we could probably use a picket fence because i feel like that's gonna match really well with this build the picket fence feels very realistic to me i don't know if that made sense but you know it looks very nice so i think we could use that to like surround the house itself if that makes sense and then i kind of want to do something like in front of the house i want to use like some plants first so maybe like some hedges with some bushes something like that would be pretty cool and it would definitely like add more i think so if we place like some hedges and in the center of them we could use like blossoming bushes oh you know what we could do we could probably place another blossoming bush next to it and then the hedge so two blossoming bushes one hedge two blossoming bushes then one hedge and then basically what you got to do is just like move them over a bit so there's no gaps i think that's kind of cool i do think i'm going to change the color though i'm going to make the bushes a bit darker and then i'll change the flower bushes to slime green instead just to add more like greens to this build i think that would look really cool so i'm gonna do the same thing over here and then instead of a hedge over here we can just leave the mailbox that kind of works pretty well that's pretty much it let's move on so we could always change up a bit if we want to but for now i think we're just gonna leave it so we're gonna use lots of wildflowers these are very cheap don't think they require much gardening i do really like these so i'm gonna use like a light yellow place these around wherever i'm also gonna add in some tulips perfect for spring and summer oh my gosh i can't believe it's already may like what what do you mean it's may what do you mean tears of the kingdom is gonna be a year old in like 10 days what sorry guys how to let it out there <laughs> i'm actually excited for summer though like it's gonna be nice ready for the beach and i'm definitely gonna be building beach homes so get ready for those i was about to build a beach house yesterday like today's video is actually about to be a beach house and then i was like you know what i think i think i gotta calm down a bit literally like two days in may gotta gotta chill gotta chill you know what would be perfect i think some floral bushes in front of this window and you know what would be perfect with these flower bushes the spiral hedge tree i am sorry because these are like kind of expensive but guys i think they'd be perfect for this house doesn't that look cool apparently i'm moving on to trees now so you know what what about a rough cypress right here that might be blocking that window a bit but i think it looks nice how about we give it a flower bush and i'd say we'd have to do one on this side as well how about we do that plant design again up here where this fence is so many blossoming bushes i love it i'll probably grab this tree and place it over here too i'd say the yard itself is like pretty good we have some plants and flowers i think we could place some like lily pads in this pond like that's adorable perhaps even some cattails what do we think love cattails all right let's do some like stepping stones so we could do the rectangular stepping stone since this pathway is like pretty big so we could place one down and we're gonna color it like the red with the bricks because i like to color my stepping stones something that resembles the build definitely these would match two next to each other and we'll do it like every other grid basically leading up here because then we could place down a welcome mat which would be perfect to take up some of that space pretty nice so we could do like the same thing for the garage we'll just do like i guess one per grid it's a driveway we really don't need much for the driveway this is like what the house looks like with the yard i think the yard itself is good i don't think i'll add much more to it maybe 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 a tree but like just on the outside because i don't like the empty space i really like to cover my homes with lots of like trees and then we could also pair it with the spherical tree because why not i'd say that's enough we don't need like too many trees <laughs> one more thing i wanted to do over here so we can go to storage and grab an oak shelf place that right here where that gap is and then do another one like that and if you'd like to you could place some flowers on it i would like to do this so i'm going to <laughs> we're gonna need to shrink them down a bit though because yeah just a little bit so i'm only gonna use the wildflowers but i think they're pretty cute so we're gonna do the same thing on this side i like them maybe i'll just change the pinks to seashell i think we can place a light right here though kind of even this out a bit you know what we should also place one near the garage because we kind of need to see when we're driving to our garage so we don't accidentally drive into the pond <laughs> kill all the fish and the frogs although there's literally no living species in this all right now it's just time for like some finishing touches so i am thinking of using this vent design for the garage it's kind of empty so do what you did over there for the garage it may be easier with just two vents this time i mean this roof is smaller so it does make sense and then we could always place that lamp thingy over here don't know what these are still but yeah they're kind of cool and you know what for this concrete roof i think i'm just gonna place one vent up here just something because like every roof has something but this so there's one more thing i want to do to finish this house go to structural go back to the standard square beam click on custom placement and i want to 
outline the roof like this and then color it all white. So I'm going to do this for each roof. You don't have to do this if you want to save money, but I do think it looks really cool. It makes it look more realistic and detailed. So up to you, but I'll probably be doing this for each roof. And I would recommend using the middle grid. It is way easier to place and make sure you place it on each roof, including the second floor roof. I'm also placing them on the sides like this, including the sides over here and even the top. So I'm also in the process of like double layering them. I think it'll look better. So start like down here and then go up like that. Okay, so I finished the roof and I ended up placing two more of these roof things up here. I do want to add one more thing, which is just some wall planters. I'm going to place one above these windows and color it white and then another one. And I'm just going to take these flowers and then just place them around. I think that's so cute. And then maybe like one beneath this window. Yeah, so I think with that, this build should be all finished. And I think it looks so nice. I think it has such a traditional look and it's pretty realistic too. I love the colors and the textures together. Yeah, I think this house is really nice. So I hope you guys love it as well. Make sure you let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And also let me know if you'd like to see an interior with everything fully furnished. All the bedrooms, the bathrooms. I don't even remember what I had planned. But whatever I said for the layout, yeah. That's what we'll make in the interior. So check the description for part two. I'll have that video linked there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.